Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about why I love comic books so much. Having comic books come into my life is probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Hold on a minute. Wait. You didn't click on this video for that, did you? You clicked on this video to see how the comic book market was crashing and how you need to sell your comics and there is no hope. Well, I decided to make this video about something positive and something I love comic books, something I've never talked about on this channel ever. I thought maybe I post this video uh, with this title, with this thumbnail, but with the realization that nobody would click and nobody would care, nobody would give a shit. But a video talking about how uh, the market is crashing, comic book shops are failing, um, I had this terrible experience, I got kicked out of two comic shops, blah, 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 that video goes through the moon. But me talking about why I love comics, why I love this hobby, nobody cares. Why is that? I'm going to talk about why I love comics. You can choose to listen to it and hear me gush about how I love it, or you can go on. I'm going to talk about why I love comic books. Comic books are the perfect blend of entertainment and collectibles. I didn't realize that so much enjoyment could come not only from reading the stories, but collecting the books. Reading comic book stories is like reading a story, reading a novel without having all the additional explanation of the setting or what the characters look like or the environment or where you're at. You get past all of that and you get right into the meat and potatoes, which is the dialogue, character development, story progression, the things that personally I love to read about. So I was in school for years and years and years and years and I had to do a lot of reading. And because of that, it turned me off on reading a lot because I just didn't want to read more after I had spent all day reading and that would be my pastime is to read more. Well, comic books have gotten me back into reading. Comic books are kind of like a power fantasy where uh, so many times like you play like a video game or um, you know, you, you watch a movie or something like you know, you get that same kind of feel as well, but comic books, it, it feels different. Like, you feel like you're in on something. Seeing a story played out on the page, reading that dialogue in your internal voice, seeing all those things play out in front of you, and you, you're, getting, you're getting a first-hand experience of that. It's incredible. You feel like you're part of the team. You feel like you're part of uh, the, the character's progression. It's like you feel powerful along with the character. Reading comic books is like a relaxing activity, a, a turn your brain off kind of activity, but it's still engaging. You know, a lot of times I come home from work and I'm literally too tired to even turn on a, a video game or turn on a movie or concentrate on a show. But you start flipping through the pages of a comic book and boom, you're in. You're in that world. It's got you, it's got its hooks into you, and you are there. Obviously, you're engaging your brain by reading, but at the same time, it's kind of relaxing you at the same time, deprogramming you, turning off how many screens we watch every day. It's awesome. The best part about comic books is the realization that it's not just superheroes. Some of the best characters ever created are superheroes and superhero stories, but that's just surface level with comic books. There are so many incredible stories. Just two that come to mind right off the bat are Walking Dead and The Sandman. Just stories that are not superhero related. You have fallible characters. You have, you have demons and angels. Uh, the Preacher, another example. Non-superhero comics with a guy in a cape and, a, and his underpants just trapping you in that world, just engaging you in stories that you're not going to get on the big screen. You're not going to get in video games. And it's not just boom, pow, and zap, and you know comic book tropes that you see so frequently. No, these are stories that are engaging. These are stories that are making you think about your life, think about your mindset, think about your existentialism, uh, question why you think the way you do. So many examples of this. The first one comes to mind is Animal Man. Uh, and Ice Cream Man, where 
it kind of flips how you think about things. Outside world problems, uh, you know, your, your, your problems you have to deal with on a daily basis just start, start fading away once you start getting into a comic book. And they're so addicting and they're so fun, you want to get to that next issue. And especially when you find a run that really hits and they really get it and how it's a page turner, you want to get to that next issue. You, you want to put your responsibilities and your duties off for a little bit, which sometimes is a bad thing. But most of the time it's just a, you know, a relax, turn your brain off and, and get engaged just fall in love with a story and a, and, a, uh, and a characters. Another huge aspect is the art and an appreciation of art, which I've always had. You know, you you see art and um, you know you you piece it together. You kind of you have to understand the artist. You have to understand the uh, how wh why the, the the piece was created in a certain time period. What the creator was going through. A lot of that is stripped away in comic books where. Uh, the, the writer and the artist are working together in this. And it's a beautiful thing when it's a perfect blending of story and art. And they're painting you a picture of these characters in this scene and this setting. And it just works. It feels real. It's a breathing, living universe. The collecting aspect is also just a, another huge part of it. As somebody that's been a collector of things their whole life. I mean, it is better than video game collecting. It's better than action figure collecting. It's better than trading card collecting and Funko Pops and coin collecting and all, all the things you can possibly collect. You're collecting pieces of history. You're, you're collecting things that are the first time these characters that are bigger than life, bigger than uh, you and I, pieces of Americana, pieces of history and you are collecting them in the first time they were ever printed on a page it's just something amazing it's something that you're you're looking at and i still do to this day where it's like i own that i own a piece of that character i own a piece of history not only are you collecting because you love the art you love the story but piecing together a run so that you can complete the story read the whole thing and then it just scratches that itch of Get, piecing something together, collecting a whole run, a whole set, a whole thing, and that is yours. That that little piece of history, that little that little that story is is yours. It's it's there's nothing quite like collecting in that way, piecing a run together. And this is something I've never really talked about on the channel, but the comic book community overall um, has been extremely welcoming to me, and I felt at home as soon as I got into it. When I started making YouTube videos and I started talking about comics and why I love them, why I was collecting them and you know the stories and the, the how I got into collecting it, pe people all people accepted me um, immediately with open arms and continue to do that. And I am so appreciative of that and it makes all of this that much better that we have this small hobby, this small group that we all come together and love the same things. We talk about different topics, obviously, but we all have passion for this hobby. And um, it's just a really special thing that even when I'm collecting, even when I'm reading, it's like I feel like I'm part of something uh, special that just us as collectors know about. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to be positive. Thank you guys uh, for watching. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.